Cal, this John Rice, and today we're going to go over the Toolscan 2.0 and all of the upgraded features of this brand new machine. The Toolscan 2.0 is IPS's new and improved second generation Toolscan machine designed specifically to measure body maker punches and dies. Now, what this machine does is it measures body maker ODs, which includes the major diameter, the step, and the taper. It also scans the body maker punch allows you to visually inspect the profile of the punch and also measures body maker ironing and redraw die ids so looking on the inside of the machine here we have paid special attention to design the fixturing to accommodate a very wide range of body maker punches and dies so the body maker punch fits into the fixture nicely like that and the body maker die fits into this fixture right here. The unique thing that we can see is that the die fixture has these easy to move pins that allow you to accommodate for a wide range of diameters. Another thing that we wanna point out here is the vibration dampening honeycomb core optical breadboard. Now all of our critical fixtures as well as the measurement head is located on top of this optical breadboard and this is a great vibration dampening part of this machine making it even more accurate and repeatable than before inside of the cabinet here we also have an led light integrated and it makes sure that everything is nicely illuminated and you can see what you're working on now what i'll do here is i'll actually move the measurement head to the center of the machine here now one thing you won't be able to see but I do want to talk about is that on the inside here we actually have a laser line that visually shows you exactly where you're measuring so you can see that if you're trying to measure for example the body maker punches step you can see that one measurement is on the left and the other one is on the right so it's a nice visual indicator there. Now what we've done here on the inside of the measurement head is we have taken two green LED micrometers that are even more accurate than we had on our original machine. And these, along with the fixturing that houses and holds these micrometers, are what give this machine the industry best repeatability of 15 millionths of an inch or 0.38 microns. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this to its home position. And with that, what you can hear is the servo-driven precision lead screw with a zero backlash. And that is just another feature that makes sure that your measurements are precise and exactly where you want them to be. Another neat feature that we have on this machine is this easy to tilt monitor mount. And what we're using here is a 24 inch multi-touch capacitance screen. It is bright, easy to use, and the tilt allows you to easy use it during stand up or if you want to pull up a chair and sit down, you can tilt it down. One of the other things that we end up having is thermal temperature uh, probes that we've integrated into this machine. So one of the largest challenges that we've found in the field are plants maintaining a very constant temperature tool room. And although a lot of plants can control it, fairly tightly, there's always some temperature fluctuation. And what these probes allow us to do is give flags and they tell us, hey, you know, the temperature has drifted slightly from the last time that you calibrated the machine. And it tells you that you may have to recalibrate the machine. The probes are also going to allow us to work on a temperature adjustment piece of our software that allows us to compensate for small fluctuations of temperature without needing to recalibrate the machine. Another piece that we have here is a printer. Now, the printer comes standard with every single tool scan, and the purpose of it is that when you can print out reports for your tooling, you can easily send tooling back to a vendor if something comes out of spec or something like that. 
The final piece that I want to show you on the machine itself is here at the bottom. So we want to make the ToolScan 2.0 as easy as possible to get set up and into your tool room. So we've actually integrated casters into the machine frame. Now these casters allow you to take this machine right out of the crate, roll it into the tool room, and once it's there, we go ahead and adjust the casters so that they sit on the vibration dampening pads and you can actually level those as well. The final piece that I want to talk about about this machine is its integration with the tool control system. Now, tool control is a tool tracking and process control system that IPS is currently working on and plans on releasing during the second quarter of 2019. For more information about any of this, please visit our website, our YouTube page, give us a call or shoot us an email.